we're talking about Cody Rhodes, who also made a huge return to Dynamite. He left for, you know, similar reasons. You know, <laughs> Moxley had a drinking problem. Uh, Cody has a psychological problem, you know, and he needed some time off to collect his thoughts and rethink his life and what he's doing with it. And he came back and he came to the epiphany that he was doing everything right and he didn't have to change anything. And yeah, he came back, he got a great promo, a little self-indulgent, you know, but uh, really good. He tried to compare himself to Punk, uh, you know, use Punk as the basis to say he's done all of the things that Punk talked about in the pipe bomb and then some talked about the forbidden door that he helped build, which I won't actually argue with that one, but especially because he's a large reason why I got interested, like I would be interested in AW, you know, but uh, yeah, and then, you know, he barely mentioned Sammy. So yeah, like, you know, like James said before, this Sammy's not a real champion right now. Like he's just, he's just not, he is a guy. I don't know why we had an interim champion, especially now that Cody's back. I think that was, that was ultimately very dumb. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But yeah, he cut a good promo. Uh, the crowd, he got the crowd to cheer him for like a whole 10 seconds. It was pretty impressive, you know? So as much as the man should be healed, he's really good. But he, I didn't like him saying that he won't turn heel, you know, because part of me believes him. And it's that's uh, that's worrying, that's upsetting, but I, I still trust. I still trust Cody. You know, this is the curious case of Cody Rhodes, and I think this is part four. <laughs> yeah, and I still trust him. Um, for now, you know, he's really taking advantage of my trust, but uh, <laughs> but we'll see. Rev is the guy who who named the segment. Uh, what do you, what do you think about this this particular curious case of? Cody Rhodes. This was a combination of two really good promos that he kind of smushed together because the front half of it was awesome. The referencing the pipe bomb, saying, you know, he built a basically, well, didn't, he didn't build it, but he helped build a forbidden door, uh, making, uh, alluding to all out or all in, rather, excuse me, and all these other things felt more like it was a promo to build towards a CM Punk match. And, the, and But it was all very good, and he was right. And as you said, he, he actually got the crowd to cheer him. But I think if you mention, even allude to All In, they're going to clap. So that part was really good. And then he kind of oddly transitions using, you know, the, the name of Brody King to go to Brody Lee to then go to Brody Jr. Or rather, go to Brody King to Brody Jr. to Brody Lee into the lineage of the TNT title. And then brings up his Sammy match. And it was such an odd transition into talking about his match with Sammy and, you know, talking about it being a ladder match, which anybody with two eyes could have seen that it was going to be a ladder match because he dragged one in on the picture in picture. So that part was also, it was, it was fine. Like, you know, he was just like, hey, like, you know, we got two belts here, kid. And like, you know, and we got a ladder. Let's do this. And it was like, okay, cool. But like, the two pieces of the puzzle just didn't fit together, right? It's like he just jammed them together. And I was like, all right, close enough. And that was it. So I'm still here for whatever Cody's doing, this weird meta heel thing. I'm because I'm just so interested to see where he goes with it. But uh, that the, the whole promo just didn't feel right to me as good as it was as for next week we'll see I think you guys are discounting Sammy pretty hard I I still I like Sammy a lot so I'm really pulling for him and I'm just holding out hope against hope that he does win but I mean betting odds Cody's gonna win so you know we'll see where he takes it from there yeah uh great insight you know especially coming from if anyone's going to understand hard times the way Cody Rhodes does, it is Haley Williams of Paramore. So, you know, great, great insight. And we don't, it's not like we don't love Sammy. It's just 
you know, even what you just said made me realize, like, he seemed less important than Brody Jr. in that promo. Like, he was, like, that's where the promo started to die. Like, he's, he was the least important name in that promo, and he was the one that Cody's feuding with. Yeah, it was very, oh, yeah, by the way, I have this match next week. Yeah. For a title, a unif- yeah. you know, the reunification of it. So, you know, it'll, it'll be good. It's all going to be great material background footage for roads to the top you know they're gonna get that shot of cody holding up the two belts and you know it'll, and that'll be used in video packages going forward uh chad i there's so many mcr songs but like most people don't know them by the title you know and it's just I should have gave you a different band. I'm sorry. I, I could have forced in more references, but <laughs> you know they really only had four hits. You know, uh, but you know what? I'm sorry because clearly I'm not okay with this. But I, I hope you're okay, and I hope you're okay with uh, what Cody Rhodes is doing. <laughs> I'll go on record and say that I believe I may be the person who dislikes Cody Rhodes the most on the pod. I don't even really have a valid reason why. I just don't like him as much as you guys seem to like him. But I will say, as thoroughly confused as I am about what he's been doing and what he's doing, I'm also equally intrigued. So for some reason, I'm just, I'm into it. The promo was good. Um, I'm with, I'm with Rev. It was kind of a, like, a clusterfuck. Like, it was two good promos put into one, which was weird, but whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it. I can't really complain. He's a good wrestler. He's clearly a hill, but whatever. He's going to keep booking himself as a hill, but keep speaking as if he's a face, which is... The juxtaposition of that alone is actually intriguing. So I'm here for it. Whatever. And Sammy. I want Sammy to win. Uh, don't get your hopes up. He's, uh, they're, not, they're, they're not up. <laughs> I, I kind of know what's going on here, but <laughs> I can hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, finally, Avril, I got to ask, how do you feel that these other two Paramore and My Chemical Romance are the headliners of this festival and you're not one of them. Like, you know, technically you've had more hits than My Chemical Romance, but you didn't break up and disappear for like 10 years. So you didn't have that, like, you know, people missing you like that, you know, and, but you just signed to Travis Barker's label. and Like, that's a big deal, you know? And I just, I, how do you feel? Are you jealous? Are you, do you feel slighted? You know? Oh, I'm glad because that concert's going to be a clusterfuck. Like, yeah, it's going to uh, be better than a Travis Scott concert. So. They're both run by the same people. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, it's 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 more about us as like the fans, you know. Like, I I really we, hope we pick so. each other up when uh, someone falls in the pit, you know. <laughs> Why you gotta go and make things so complicated, James? <laughs> I was I'm asked sorry. a question. I was <laughs> asked a question. And first of all, respect Look, man, me. It's Avril. You want to go home, but nobody's home. Okay. <laughs> well, now that we're completely off the rails. Right? Um, <laughs> oh, man. Um, I, I know I joked in the beginning about uh, Mox's promo, but I can actually say I didn't really like this promo from Cody. Um, I am a Cody Rhodes fan. I've been a Cody Rhodes fan from WWE to the Indies and Ring of Honor and New Japan and AEW. He's one of the reasons why I was so excited about AEW. And I still like Cody. I I like to think I'm capable of seeing the reasons why so many other fans aren't big Cody fans. Like, I, can, I, I get all of them. And sometimes I roll my eyes a little bit at him, too. But for the most part, I really like Cody. I, I've gotten to speak to him before on a one-on-one, and I've been able to pick his brain, and I really love his love for wrestling. And, you know, it's... It's weird, though, because I'm all for this heel stuff, even though, like, I, I I agree with you, Chad. Like, 
he's a heel in everything but name. And it's like, I don't think it's as meta as he thinks it is. But again, I'm, I, I want to see it play out. I am curious with it. I am eager to see how it plays out. But this promo did not do it for me. One, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to go as far as to say I was offended that he brought up the Brody stuff. But at the same time, it felt so unnecessary. Like, no part of it, it, it felt so cheap to make that connection between Brody King and to say he has balls to come in as Brody. It's I, like, what? It's the dude's name. It's how he's, it's the only way anybody who's ever going to know this guy, and that's a small pool, would know him. So I it it made no sense to me. It felt cheap to bring up Brody Jr. I hated that line. And this next bit, it's not something Cody's typically known for doing in promos, but it felt really weird. He really did that like not so popular wrestler thing where he brings up a lot of popular wrestlers to get a pop in a promo. And I, I, I just didn't get it. And the guy who cut the... Uh, I forget how... I, I, I can't phrase it properly, I'm sorry. But the the undeniable promo that he cut, that is one of the best promos I've heard in years. I think he's amazing. I think he's an amazing promo. But Rev, you said it. You guys said it. It's like... This felt like pieces of other promos that just got Frankenstein together. And it just, none of it fit. He even alluded to his contract stuff. Like, and, and don't get me wrong. It is probably the most exciting thing about Cody right now is his contract status. But that in itself could have been the promo. The punk stuff could have been the promo. Sammy could have been the promo. But I... I it, it did not work for me. I am a hundred percent. I'm a Sammy fan, guys. I, I am a hundred percent knowing Cody is winning this match next week. I agree with Danny. There is no reason that Sammy needed to be interim champion. I know they were always going to do the rematch of Cody versus Sammy before Cody got taken out or was out, but they never needed to make him interim champion. And all this is going to be is like it. It, it really hit me. When they said, uh, you know, like uh, the graphic card where they do the names at the bottom and like they'll give the stats. Cody Rhodes, the only three time TNT champion in AEW history. Well, let me tell you, he's also really the only two time champion because Sammy's reign doesn't count. So I, none of this, like, I, I, I don't know. I need him to either piss or get off the pot with this. I almost said the S word, but I changed it. And he he just needs to, whatever he plans on doing, he needs to do. He needs to do. Isn't he still technically a three-time champion? I know we got in this whole argument last no, week about interim yeah, stuff. But... No, no, Cody is absolutely a yeah. three-time champion, but he's also the only two-time champion. Oh, cool. so, so being the only three-time champion is something that he's going to hold on to for a very long time. Okay, yeah. All right, I misunderstood and, what you were yeah. saying. <laughs> it, it again it, it falls into that like they're highlighting stuff like this for the heel aspect of it cody did not need to be the three-time tnt champion he just doesn't need to be he's bigger than that title right now and that's fine that's good for cody and that's good for the tnt title because other people should be going for it but it's I, I i don't know as someone who has said over and over again in the last few minutes i am a cody rhodes fan i am not really a fan of what's going on currently does that feel like a symptom of him not being able to go for the world title absolutely I, yeah. like i there's this interesting dynamic right now where cody rhodes says he's not turning heel and says he's not going for the world title and he cannot do one or the other without them interacting he can't go for the world title without turning heel. And I don't think he can turn heel really without going for the world title. I agree with that. I was going to say I'm with you because, you know, after the beat. But, <laughs> uh, and I am for the most part. 
but I kind of disagree about the Brody stuff, but I also agree at the same time. Like, I actually liked the lines. I thought it was a good line. I actually liked the lines. Like, you gotta have some balls to come in here named Bert, like being named Brody, you know? Like, and uh, I I didn't mind all this. I forgot what he said right before that leading into it, but I, I didn't mind those a lot of these things as lines and like they're good lines for a promo but like like you guys have all been saying you know it felt like a Frankenstein promo and like it didn't my issue with this was like why are you talking about this like it didn't make any sense for you to bring this up it's like you know and he tried his best because he started recapping what happened in the two weeks he was gone and that's how he inevitably eventually got to this but like yeah, I didn't have a like I I liked the lines or I liked a lot of the individual lines. Just maybe they all didn't go together. And he even said in the beginning of his promo, you know, like oh, they said uh, someone told me I should save this, but you know, for another day. But I'm 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 gonna say it now, which I think was mainly referring to the CM Punk comparisons and stuff. Mm-hmm. But you know, uh, it felt it felt like when you're writing a paper for school and you have to cite like four sources. So you just start forcing lines in because you need to get up to, the, <laughs> up to the four sources. That's what it felt like. He was just like, oh, okay, I'm going to borrow this from like this idea I had and this and from this idea I had and just start forcing everything together. So he got one long promo and like it just had a bunch of weird transitions out of nowhere. So. Yeah, it, w- it was the unloading part that got very weird and made it like out of place. I agree yeah. with that. I like the way the promo felt. I like the way the environment was. I like the way the crowd was, except for the you know the people who were talking when no one else was talking. But like I liked the atmosphere of the promo, maybe more than the actual promo itself, because it felt like a really big deal and it felt special and it felt important. Uh, and I'm sure the the ladder match is is gonna be great, you know. And uh, you know, Cody didn't win the face of the revolution ladder match. Now he's gonna win one this year 